Okay, let's see... It's been uh, about 2-3 uh, hours since I last played, so I kind of forget which way I was supposed to go. Uh, let's just wander around and see what I can find. A model of Octopus City, huh? I really love all this custom stuff, man. It all looks fantastic. Well, I can't expect like that teddy bear thing. It's out of the world, yes it is. Closet. Or a little office or something in here. Can I inspect anything in here or. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so right. Yeah, okay, nothing in here, I guess. What is with all this stuff here? Are you doing Oh my... <laughs> wow, you can really uh, check a lot of stuff out. Look at that, even like a wine bottle. It's like, oh wow. Okay. Now <laughs> little little uh, heart on his lock and everything. <laughs> that guy's so flamboyant. Let's hit the bottom. Let's just press. Okay. Huh? Did that repeat? Yeah, I mean, that was like the same, same thing twice. Oh, what's it? Ah, oh, oh, man. Um, I didn't see what that said. It's too fast. Exotic wine. Was that? No, that wasn't it. Oh, I know how to figure it out. Just make sure I can see my FPS. Okay, what was that? Oh, that, that was that. <laughs> okay, moving on. That's actually kind of hard to tell that was a, uh, a door there. I'd say have like a little bit of... Oh, come on. Nope, it's a teleport. I'm trying to show something. Have like some light there at the, uh, the bottom or the arrow or something just to indicate there's a door there. Because I hate to say it, but some players they're not gonna pick up on the like a dead end or something. Because not everybody really, you know, losing this stuff that easily. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? This guy's like Deadpool. Yeah, um, I think taking a step away from this game for about uh, two or three hours, away from all the really heavy dialogue at the start, I think it really it did a lot of good because now I've come back and there's not much dialogue yet. I'm able to move around and explore, and so it's uh, I'm, I'm feeling the oh look at that, there's an error there. Yeah, the name, the color. Okay. How'd you miss that, man? <laughs> A robotic spider? Yeah, I'm arachnophobic, so let's keep those in the wall, please. Well, I don't care, it's a fucking thing. It's just like... One thing I can say is there's so many names and stuff being thrown at you just so quickly and so early in this game that it's kind of overwhelming. It's uh, a lot of it's not really explained. It's just here's this name, here's that name, and it's basically just. I feel like it's gonna be like piecing the, the um, puzzle pieces together as you go, so you can understand what's going on. But I I, I like you in games where everything is like introduced and explained like bit by bit over time. It's not a bad thing, but I just prefer it. Wow, this guy wrote a lot of his log apparently. No, it's in there. Uh, yeah. I was about to just have to skip again, honestly, if that was the end. 
Because um, I just want to enjoy the game. Fit all that in one window, don't you? Maybe? Uh, maybe not. Ooh, treasure. And see, that's the credits, yeah. I'm gonna guess it probably sends for what? Neon credits or something, maybe? Anything here? It's an uh, Autobus Mac. It's been a few hours since I've seen Max, so I'm allowed to forget. This guy looks like a frog or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, he's just gripping to him. Oh yeah, Ben is Wart. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I remember. Okay, is that all it says, or...? Crap, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I shouldn't have stopped playing, I guess. Or... Oh! See, that's what I'm talking about, man. I thought that was a wall before, so I just kind of, like, talk to these guys over here and then up here. Even just, like, an arrow on the floor, like, like say it was, like, painted on, or, or like, one of these little domino-looking shapes. Just something like that, but over here on the floor, so you can, like, just an arrow pointing, just to indicate there's probably something over here. Walk this way, you know. Because I could see it being a lot of guesswork for people who just aren't used to games like that, or you just can't tell if something's there. I was an old man or a skeleton, I can't... <laughs> Grim, okay, so yeah. I like how you see their, some characters, their mouths move when they talk. Like this guy right now, you see the little jaw going up and down. Important. Mecha Mechanical Factory. Dark Zone 1. I think it would be a little bit better if you just sped that up a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Oh, there's a. What big? Is Pris there? Frog dude. Major something work. Yeah, Ben is work. I think of Seinfeld when I read the name of Elaine Bennis. <laughs> I, I don't know. I watched him. I'm kind of worried that this might be a long dialogue sequence again. <laughs> Find out. But yeah, I looked at the length of the first recording. It was 25 minutes, and out of those 25 minutes, I spent 5 minutes in a fight. And aside from that, 20 minutes of dialogue. That's... Whew. <laughs> For several reasons, I believe you'd want to say there. <laughs> the Bone King. I like the music here, too. What the fuck are you doing back there?
Hmm, the executioner's block. That sounds sounds nice. Who the fuck are you scratching? Okay, um, back to the game. <laughs> There's a lot of dialogue still. Viper. They look important, maybe a party member? They look like a lizard man with long hair or, or something of the sort, maybe? Probably a lizard woman, I'm guessing. I really like all the like the diversity in like the character sets though. They all look so different from each other. It's great. <laughs> Calm down, froggy. So it's been a little bit since I that last session, like, what, two hours or so? I'm kind of wondering, just because I might be forgetting some details, but I'm wondering if this Bone King has something to do with those, uh, robot guys who want to go to war with, uh, whatever the, uh, nation is that I'm in. Neon, whatever, was it? Neon Empire, I think. No, no, I'm not the Neon Empire. Am I? I don't know. <laughs> well, apparently I'm fighting the Neon Empire, so maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm in it, but not part of it. I don't know. I think there's just so much dialogue that it's just a little bit overwhelming. That <sighs> I don't know. I really like the uh, narration and everything, but then the storyline and. What world looks like it's going? It looks like it's really deep and well thought out, but you're just kind of thrust into it. There's no build-up. It's just everything's like just thrown at you. It's like, okay, this is this. That guy's doing that. We're doing this. This place is whatever. I mean, there's all these names and of places and people, um, things going on, and I, I I don't know what any of it is because I just started playing the game, you know. And there's nothing that's really explaining what it is, unless I'm supposed to be talking to those random soldier-looking NPCs who just run around in the halls. I don't know. But it seems like they all just give you more backstory or insight instead of, like, explaining what's going on. From what I, at least from what I can tell. Fletcher's in trouble. Uh, coffin gen uh, Grendel. Doing again, man. <laughs> Lots of dialogue. I mean, I I love dialogue. I love story. I love character development, character interactions. But at the start of the game, you just kind of want to, you know, waddle around in like the shallow end of the, the, the pool, not go right into the deep end. <laughs> because these characters just go on and on and on, and bit much like right at the start of the game I find. <laughs> okay. What do you have to say, Viper? Oh, 
seems like a bitch. Okay, I'm guessing I have to go back somewhere now. I mean, these guys are all just spout more nonsense about things I don't know about, so I'm going to bother with them. Maybe I should have spoken to Fletcher, but that was maybe... Maybe that's what's just a little bit better. Is that a doorway? Yeah, it is. Whoa! I haven't been here yet. But I'm gonna go up back to uh, where I started. And see, if it's over there. see, I thought that was a wall the whole time. <laughs> is there anybody here? This person, this room that the chamber is. I gotta go to the uh, west of here, maybe. This room that I had no idea even just Look at the size of this guy! Holy crap, he's big! Grimly the body, okay. This guy's a walking stereotype. <laughs> Flat yourself out of it. <laughs> okay, I really like the little bits of dial dialogue like that and all this uh, goofy stuff about Ludwig and everything. Oh, what the hell? Chester. Tiles right here, man. That's gotta be the skin's biggest strength. I love the graphics. Like, everything's custom. As far as I can tell, there's not even one pixel of RTP. Of course, it's so well hidden that it's just wow. I don't know if should be up here. <laughs> What's the thing? I hope I am, because these ladders take a while to uh, climb up. Oh, man, is it. Oh, there's, there's a door. Okay. I thought it was a dead end for a second. Are those, like, uh, air conditioners? I like how you see them, like, kind of, like, shaking or vibrating in the wall there. That's, that's a nice touch. Whatever's going on beside the ladder on the, the right hand side there. The monitors are all probably static, I'm guessing. Jeez, poor guy. Man, it's just so much going on with like the graphics and everything all at once. It's just fantastic. I love this graphical style so much. Must 
supposed to be able to do that? <laughs> that was not intentional, I just accidentally pressed the arrow key. What was that? What are those? I don't know. NC maybe? What do I do now? Oh really? What do I do up here? <laughs> Anything? I'm starting to learn now, I'm sure the sides go to the maps for sure. Oh. Okay, that must be the elevator. Rico? Oh! Shut up, shut up, I want to see what these are. Okay, let's see. 340. Aha! That's what it is. That's kind of cool. I feel like that could have gone on, like, or lasted like a little, a little less time, I guess I'm trying to say.
Where's the scientist? Is that where I was, like, way back at the start? Or... somewhere else? I don't know. Um... Time here. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, I'm gonna stop there, I think. I don't know how long it's been, but it feels like it's probably been about 15 20 minutes anyway. God, is there a lot of talking in this? <laughs> like I said, I don't mind dialogue. I love a good story. I love good character and interactions. But it feels like the interactions in this are really drawn out. Or when the character just goes on into like a monologue, he just... He or she just... Just goes off. It <laughs> just talks about everything that you can possibly mention. It's like, whoa, calm down, friend. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably try to hop back into this tomorrow or something, but uh, I have uh, some other things to do, so two recordings for today. I really love the graphics, and your writing is freaking phenomenal. Like, every character is just brimming with personality. They're all fantastic. So, uh... Yeah, that's it. I'll play again tomorrow. That's it for now.